Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Bossen, uh, speaking to you from the deep chasmous recesses of QuickBooks Made Easy. Uh, this is the <laughs> that sounds really gross, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, I don't even know why I said it. I am back from a uh, teaching trip. We went to Hawaii. Notice how I call it a teaching trip. That way I can write it off on my taxes. Uh, we did go to Hawaii to teach, and then we stayed. Uh, mahalo to everybody, or aloha, whatever it is that you're supposed to say. I think they mean the same thing. I don't know. Somebody can correct me. Uh, obviously, I didn't learn very much about the language when I was in Hawaii. However, I did have a good time. Uh, so this is May of 2015, and this is the quick tip um, for May. This is part of the little e-newsletter that you get once a month. Uh, if you happened upon this through YouTube, then you can sign up for the newsletter. I'll tell you how at the end of the little tip. So what we're going to do in this one, we're going to have a fairly, this isn't a very complicated tip, has to do with the lists and when you end up having more than one name in a list or more than one item in a list that's really the same thing. Uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go to my, uh, ah, I'm going to go to my customers list. And this tip is helpful for pretty much anybody using QuickBooks, no matter what version that you have. Um, and this is a list of our customers. And do you see how we have one that says J Donofrio and the other one says Jessica Donofrio? So what we have here is we have two names that are really just the same person. This happens constantly. There's probably not a single person listening to me now that doesn't have at least one name duplicated on one of your lists okay so what I'm going to show you is how to correct this issue so the way you want to correct the issue is you really want to merge these two and make them be the same okay so there really isn't a merge button in QuickBooks but what you can do is I'll tell you what to do and then I'll show you what you're going to do is you're going to edit one of them change the name I'm going to edit this one change the name so it matches the other one and then when you change the name it's going to merge them for you. Okay. So now that I've explained to you what we're going to do, let me show you. Let me just go ahead and do it. So first thing you got to do is you got to pick which one of the ones that you like. Okay. So J Donofrio isn't as good as Jessica. Plus, if you look, I'll double click on Jessica. Uh, you'll see we have an address here of 659 G Piedmont Road, whereas this other one has a different address which we know is the old address it's a wrong address see this is J so we probably want to keep Jessica because first of all it's a full name Jessica we don't like J and second of all it has the right address okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the other one okay so you keep the one that you like and then you change the other one so that the name and by I mean when I say name I just mean this top name up here matches uh, the one that you want to keep okay so I want to keep this one so I'm gonna click on this one first let me just go back I'll click on it and I'm gonna highlight this one this is the one I want to keep and I'm gonna push control C on my keypad okay so that makes a copy of that name I'm gonna click OK then I'm gonna double click on the one that I'm trying to change and then highlight this top left area and I'm gonna push control V and what that does is it basically types it replaces that name with the one that I want to keep okay now the reason why I used a control C to copy and a control V to paste rather than just typing the name is it first of all is easier and second of all it makes sure that I don't make any errors because the name has to be exactly identical in order for this thing to work okay so uh, there we go. So I'm changing the name. Remember, this is the address that's wrong. This is the one I want to change. So when I click OK, you'll know that you've been, you're doing it right because you'll get a window that pops up that says this name is already being used. Would you like to merge them? Okay. Now when I click yes, which I'll do in a minute, what it's going to do is it's going to change all the information on this one and it's going to make it match the other one and it's going to lump them together okay and when I say lump them together which isn't a very technical term but not only is it going to uh, only have one name but it's going to merge the transactions so notice how there's an outstanding balance of J of 750 and an outstanding balance of Jessica of 250 well when I click yes 
it adds them together. So now I only have one name, $1,000. So it's merged the names as well as the dollar amounts. So I'm going to double click on this. And you'll see that it kept the Piedmont Road address, which is the one that I liked. Okay, So just to review, you keep the one you like, and then you change the name. And when I say name, I don't mean any of these fields. I mean this name up top to match the one you want to keep. You click OK, and it merges the names as well as the transactions. Okay. Now, this is true for how to merge on any of the lists in QuickBooks. It's true for the class list. It's true for the uh, vendor list. One thing about the vendor list, say you have a vendor, and I don't, but I'm just going to go over to the vendor center. It's going to work the same way, okay? But say you have two names that you want to connect, okay? Here, Atlanta Journal and Atlanta Magazine. And the reason why is because maybe Atlanta Journal changed its name to Atlanta Magazine, okay? They didn't, but let's assume they did. When you change it, since it's going to merge all the transactions as well, anything that was originally typed, like any check that was originally typed as Atlanta Journal from years ago, is now going to say Atlanta Magazine. So unless you want all the transactions changed as well, don't merge it. Okay, Because when you merge it, it merges the name. It also merges all the transactions. Okay, so that's just kind of a warning for you as it comes to when it comes to any of the lists. But I was just using vendor as an example. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do the chart of accounts list. Okay, so let me get out of the customer list. Now I'll go over to the chart of accounts list, and I'm just kind of highlighting that this is again it's the same deal, not a big deal. Um, here we have postage and delivery. Here we have shipping and delivery. Okay, so I like postage and delivery because shipping and delivery sounds it sounds like the same words. So anyway, it's like, what is that? Metaphors? Synonyms? I think synonyms. Um, all right. So um, I told you I'm better with numbers than I am with letters. So anyway, I'm going to go to postage and delivery. And I'm going to edit that. Uh, and I'm going to push control C. Now, of course, if you have a Mac, I don't know that control C would work. I think you have to push the Apple sign and C. Uh, and we'll save and close and then we'll go over to shipping and I'll edit that one and then control V and let me move this over we'll click save and close this name's already being used Do you want to merge them so postage delivery and shipping and delivery I click yes keep your eyes over here makes them one and of course the transactions will merge as well so if you had it on a PL with two lines, now it'll add the numbers together and there'll only be one line on the profit and loss. Pretty simple, uh, but the reason why I put it in as a tip is because I get an awful lot of people that don't seem to know about that. So uh, hopefully this makes life easy for you, as that's what we try to do in QuickBooks Made Easy. And uh, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, the little e-newsletter, so you can get, get this every month automatically, just please do so. It shows you how to do it at the end of the little, um, of the little topic here. And that's it. I will talk to you next month.